Alright, I'm downtown here in the historical district. Downtown beautiful Greenville, South Carolina. And I think 10, 11 years ago, we put these two fine comfort taker units in for this fella. And unfortunately, one of his ECM fan motors has failed. And we're gonna go in here and open up the air handler and fix it. All right, so it looks like we might have to do a little valet parking here first. Some bicycles, well, they might not be in the way. This line set sure looks like it could be in the way. Duck works pretty decent in this house. Uh, we just did a kind of a mild duck job and we used to use these April air filters before we started with the ones we've got now. And we've had really good luck out of these air handlers here. Uh, and out of these uh, comfort maker ICP pieces of equipment done us pretty well um, <clears throat> this one failed after about eight or nine years and it's been another year or two and now this one has failed so as the x13 and ECM motors go that's actually a pretty good record uh, awful lot of them failed in one or two years and still do so anyway let's open this thing up and demonstrate once again just how easily you are able to service and repair an ICP unit. All right, so I normally chop these up and just show a few key things, but we're gonna we're gonna run this one in real time and see if you can uh, see if you can agree with me that these units here are easy to repair. These little extensions. That's all you got to do. And she's ready to pull out. So that's pretty easy. Let's take a look at the motor itself. All right, this one doesn't look really bad rusted at all. So, I'm hoping to 
get it apart pretty easy. So as soon as I loosen the set bolt, it slid right down on its own. And that's a good sign. So, I believe we'll be able to pull this one right out of here. I'm going to go ahead and do the usual sandpaper smooth up and put a quick little Jolt of the, whoa, jack of all sprays on there. <clears throat> and I'll tell you what, I've said it many times, I really like that for indoor blowers because it does not stink. I really like air crawl and that PB parts blaster, but this doesn't stink. So you can uh, use it on indoor blowers without smelling up the people's house. So what I'm going to hope happens right here is a very quick and easy little effort. Just pull it right out of there. The brown one fits this. So let's see. Yep. There we go. So that was easy. Like that little red button says when you push it. So, let's see, I think the half inch is what fits that. No, the brown one still fits it. 7 sixteenths. So let's hold that right quick. That's pretty easy. the right motor so yep half horse and I'm going to replace this since it's out of warranty with uh, one of those Gentech evergreen deals so let's go get it okay so here's the Gentech Evergreen half horsepower. This thing is very universal. Um, this is the EM model if you ever go to buy any. And uh, it is plug and play in most units. All carrier products, ICPs. This thing will say blah blah, not exact. That's kind of a disclaimer sticker. Keep you from burning it up. Probably a, uh, it's probably a anti-DIY sticker from the manufacturers, knowing who's going to be using it, but or who a lot of times is going to be using it. But anyway, um, I've used a bunch of them. We're going to plug it right in and cut it right on and watch it work. So. First thing I do is I look at the front of my housing here and I figure, you know, how I want this thing 
come out and I want the wires to face this way right between two of the brackets so it's actually couldn't be much simpler um, it really couldn't and I think I went a little too far when I loosened it run it in a little bit and we're going to align it to where these arms are where we want them to be accordingly. These bands are a little cantankerous to work with. If you get them, if you get them too tight, you can't get all your arms in. You get them too loose, and they all fall out. So it's kind of something you gotta, gotta get used to over the years. Um, I'm trying to keep this up in the side of the camera. But it's actually a lot easier you sit it on the floor or on a table or some kind of flat surface. Um, like I said, I was just trying to put it together on the video, but I'm starting to lose a bit of patience with that, so I'm going to run it in a little more here on the floor and then we'll get back in sight with it. And I can remember about where it was on the motor itself a little over midways and she is mounted okay From this side, the only thing really important to remember is to face your wires towards the front of the unit. And since I did not take that set screw out, I have to reach in there and turn it around until it gets to where the shaft will slide down in there. And you don't tighten them. You just run them in until you get all four of them in and aligned properly. So now what we want to do is we want to align the wheel and we're going to go about as close to dead center here as we can because the upflow application does not put any strain in one direction or the other you know as far as the motor as far as the the play, the what you might call shaft play in the motor goes. And in a horizontal application, I will always try to counter the you know the shaft play that's bound to come about as the motor wears. So if it's laying down, I'll slide it towards the motor. If the motor's on the bottom, I'll slide it away from the motor. Just a hair out of center to where as it wears, it's not going to be in danger of scrubbing. So we're in pretty good shape right there. 
crank on it one more time. And we're going to put this back in the unit. All right. Especially after you've done a few of them. Got to leave that little short extension on here. Makes it a lot more in line. And also, they always have the crown one wire to the inside. I'm not really sure why, but just put the crown back where it was. Okay. Now, I unplugged all of these hot, but I just don't like that spark you get on a new motor. So, I'm going to walk over here and figure out which breaker it is. Hang on. All right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this thing find its own direction. And that's what these universal motors do. So I'm going to take the red and the green wire nuts loose. And I'm just going to touch those two together while we watch the motor test its direction and it'll test for resistance I guess and it'll figure out which way is which. Stop. And then it's going to run the other way, which that. That is the second part of the test. And then it'll stop again. That's the correct direction. I'll let go of the green and red. Now just watch it stop. Yep. So you saw it run in both directions, and that is the reason for that. 
is it self adjusts and you don't have to select the application. So let's put the door back on this thing and tell the customer he's back in business and that thing is plugged in exactly as the other one was plug and play easy repair Now, I'm no longer a fan of selling and installing ICP. However, as you can see, very easy to repair, user friendly, service friendly, etc. So, I do still like the products. All right, so we had the homeowner go ahead and turn it on. I tell you, these things are filthy dirty. But, they, uh, they run pretty good. The other one was on, so I thought we were going to get to hear them both on at the same time. That is the premium line, main line they call it. So they are the soft sound machines. And uh, I'm quite sure the air handlers running um, it's pretty good systems you know as the generic carriers go yeah she's running so should be okay and I don't think I was here very long probably inside of an hour so let's go to the next one and uh, as I said, not, not a huge fan of any other brands, to be honest with you. I'm a train man and everybody knows that. But if I did have to sell another brand, that would be it. Probably would not sell the actual true carrier brand and uh, certainly would not sell Linux. But if I had to go back to anything, it would be the comfort takers. So, we got a couple more stops today. I believe they're going to be okay. I'm not going to do any further testing or servicing. I'm going to do exactly as I'm hired to do, and that's what the customer wanted. So, we repaired it, and we are moving on. So thanks for watching.